Nearly 12 million people have now been vaccinated against the coronavirus, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. That is about 3% of the U.S. population. But as medical reporter Liz Bonus explains, new research shows they may still be able to spread the virus with or without symptoms. As more of us get the COVID-19 vaccine, we can't wait to take off the masks and get back to more normal living. But there's a lot of debate about when the vaccine will help us do that, especially when it comes to stopping asymptomatic spread. And I'm just doing my part to have a healthy community. For nurse Megan Vassar, the COVID-19 vaccine is a step forward to help stop the spread of this virus. But even after your second injection, Dr. Anthony Fauci told Sinclair's Jan Jeffcoat this. Although we know that the vaccine is 94 to 95 percent efficacious in preventing symptomatic disease, what we don't know yet is whether it prevents you from getting asymptomatic infection. Recent research, however, conflicts on just how much people with no symptoms actually do spread the virus. This recent study in JAMA says asymptomatic people account for more than half of all COVID-19 cases, but it's based on what's called a modeling study. Which means they use mathematical predictions to determine reality. It's not an actual true measurement of reality. Dr. Chad Savage, a healthcare policy advisor for the Heartland Institute, says that doesn't mean it's not valid. But by contrast, if you look at this recent study in the journal Nature, it is a true measurement of reality. They followed 300 asymptomatic patients and they contact traced them. They, they looked at about 1,200 close contacts to them to see if asymptomatic spread occurred. Both studies do use data from China, which Dr. Savage points out may or may not be similar to the United States. So where do we go from here then? Is it masks forever? That's the million dollar question. We, we do have pretty good data that people who are sick wearing masks, wearing masks decrease transmission to other people. The, the, uh, the assumption that everyone needs to wear a mask is based on the thought that, well, you don't know you're sick, you don't know you're contagious, you are spreading it, and therefore you are a sick person, you just don't know it yet, so you need to wear a mask. But if that proves not to be true, then that entire policy is, is for naught. Dr. Savage and others say even with all this, the vaccine's still a great way to go because it still stops symptomatic spread. That's one secret to the path forward. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. We'll throw it back to you. From 